time now for another Lawmakers Flashback in honor of our 40th session. Tonight, the Senate debates a resolution that would allow former Governor George Busby to draw an increased pension. Busby caused some controversy when he claimed that his two-term limits as governor qualified as involuntary separation from his employment and made him eligible for a pension worth almost twice as much as his normal pension. Senate Minority Leader Paul Coverdell explains his opposition. It is my contention that no General Assembly in any of the laws we ever passed here ever intended for that to be a grounds for which somebody could get a pension bonus. I think that the people in my district and I feel that the people in your district sort of believe that there has been an abuse in this area and we need to take whatever positive action that we can to correct it. You did say that ex-Governor Busby has refused to draw a pension until he's 60 years old. He's not drawing the pension now. I think a, a large number of the public is not aware of that fact. Is that not so? That is absolutely a fact, and uh, uh, former Governor Busby is a good friend of mine. And I think that if he had it to go over with today without reservations, he would not have requested this pension. And I think that he proved that by going in and denying it until he is age 60. Former Governor Maddox has never drawn a pension and probably never can draw one and probably needs it more than any governor we've ever had in the past. That's my understanding. And I would go further and say that this bill would affect probably very few people, but any future governor that was in the General Assembly prior to 1972 could qualify for this provision at a later date. Former Governor Busby did eventually back down and the state pension system was revised to change this expensive provision. This has been a lawmaker's flashback.